Hi, my name is Tony the Plumber. Today I'm going to show you a little techniques how to sweat a pipe the proper way. You need a couple of fittings and you need the right pipe for the right job. There's different grades of pipe. L pipe is for domestic water. M pipe is for heat. So you got to make sure that when you're doing your project, you know exactly and how to identify the pipe. Identifying the pipe is, on the pipe itself, would have a blue label going all the way down the line, and that will tell you that it's for domestic water. And they make different sizes. They make from one inch, half inch, all the way up to two inch. Depends what you're doing at the time of the application. There's some tools here that you're going to need to cut the pipe. This is the basic cutter that all the plumbing tradesmen use. Goes on the pipe real easy, lock down. You spin a couple of times, lock down again, spin a couple of times, and then the pipe will be cut. And for those tight corners, you have a thing called a mini cutter. It's easy to use. You open it up, you put it around the pipe, tighten down. And you can make those little turns and a larger pipe cutter. It goes up to two inch and sometimes even three inch. When it gets that big, you need a special cutter for that. But I'm going to show you little techniques and little things you can, a homeowner can do that you don't need to call a plumber in at a high rate. You can do it yourself and save money. First thing you always got to do is make sure that the fittings and the pipe are clean. If they're not clean properly, the pipe would not sweat. The flux in the solder would not stick to the pipe unless it's clean. This is called a two-turn brush. Okay? It goes into a fitting and you turn it. By turning it, it gives you a clean fitting. Okay? With a little piece of grit, like so, you clean the outside of the fitting. So a dirty fitting becomes clean. Next thing is, you clean the pipe. You clean the pipe in a way to where the fitting is going to go on it. Now it's nice and clean. See the different color between the clean part and the dirty part means a lot. Then you could a thing called utility flux has its own cleaner inside this chemical that will clean the pipe as you're heating it and without this chemical the solder would not stick. So you take it like so, you go just a little bit into the fitting, a little bit on the pipe and join piece of pipe like so. Now we're going to attempt to sweat it. Now, the proper way of sweating this is to make sure the solder you use, if it's for domestic water, it has to be lead-free solder. There is no lead in this solder, so nothing can harm you in any way. And if you're doing heat, you do a 50-50 blend solder then you can go on heat because you don't drink that water it stays within the system. So right now I'm going to show you a fast way of sweating the pipe. I'm going to get my tricky shorts over here right here. I'm going to light it up something they call the striker. The flame is on. This red here is covered with, believe it or not, my own remedy it's called transmission fluid. The transmission fluid would not let the solder run down the pipe. The solder would stay right around the fitting edge to give it a clean look. Watch how I do this. You sweat underneath the fitting until the solder starts to boil. Once the solder starts to boil, you grab the pipe, clean around the fitting, 
Now a ball you saw Heat from the bottom and put the starter on the top. The starter will start to flow. Wipe nicely. And the starter will only stay to where the flux is. It would not travel down the pipe. It would give you a perfect clean sweat. By cleaning down the fitting, it will leave just a bead of solder and it won't run down the pipe and it looks like a professional did it. That's how you want the work to be done. A lot of times you shut the water down and you got that constant drip. If there's water in this line, there is no way you're going to be able to sweat that fitting to have a solid, good joint. What you're going to have to do is either try to get the water out of the pipe by either tilting it until it dries out because it will create steam, steam builds out pressure and the solder will just keep on pushing out of the fitting no matter how many times you do it. I came up with an idea and the guy that broke me into my trade came up with this idea. Okay? It's called the old bread trick. You take the inside of the bread which acts like a sponge. You stick it into the pipe like so. Now what happens to this is you stick it further enough in where the water is going to stop and the bread acts like a sponge. The only thing difference is between the bread and the sponge a sponge doesn't dissolve. When the bread gets wet it dissolves you flush it right out of the system. The way to flush it out of the system is you go upstairs to one of your faucets Take out your strainer on the sink, it looks like a little screen, which I have right here, where all the dirt will collect, take it out, let it run free. Once the water is nice and clean, put it in a clear glass and make sure there's no other chemicals in there, your job is done.